1,998, 1,999, 1 million. There you go. Clay, tall stories. The tall stories being the, uh, the main part there. Are you well? This morning, I'm feeding puppies. They are hungry, and I'm giving them a mixture of what have we got here in the fridge? It's a little bit of venison. Got some chicken gizzards. Okay, they gotta be good. Also got some chicken hearts. The chicken hearts are great because they've got a lot of fat on them. I don't know what the chickens eat, they have so much fat, they're probably in a bloody, oh, I don't know. Oh, I also got some uh, chicken livers. You don't want to give your dogs too much liver, just a little bit. And I'm also going to crunch up some chicken necks so they get the calcium from the bones. What else we got in there? Got uh, more chicken hearts. Okay, that'll be for later on. And I'm also going to worm them. That's going to be interesting. So I'm going to give them that food crunched up with their worming tablets because they are now four weeks and they should have been wormed at two weeks. But I lost the tablets. I only just found them. So I'm going to do that now. Wild venison. Chicken heart, chicken liver, and chicken gizzards. And the necks all been crunched up to the bone. I've got about three necks in there. Okay, mate. It's okay, it's okay, it's okay. I've just given him his, his worm tablet and his tucker. What's the report? No, it's not very good, is it? No, it wasn't very good. Not flash at all. Goat, meaning that the dogs. Go. What's their pig sign where you were hunting? It was a wee bit. Um, we reckon they chased one, they did a real big loop. We gone for about 40 minutes. Okay. And uh, went about probably a K away at the longest yeah. point. Uh, there's definitely pigs in there. Oh yeah, well. Back to the drawing board with the training, eh? It's not good. But, uh, mm. Who do you reckon got it first? B or Pace? B was bailing it, Pace was holding it. Yeah, that'd be typical. And Tig was just running around in circles. Oh well, you trust Pace to be swinging off it, little wanker. Mm. Oh well, there's Pig, honey. They yeah. can catch your goat, they can catch your pig. It's not good. Got work to do. Bugger. Well, that's the report on how the boys went. Holy shit, that's an old goat, isn't it? A lot of teeth like on it. Jeez, it looks a bit like my bloody teeth. <laughs> That's the one that's be in Pace Court. Yeah. Mm. Oh well. It's always next time. What's that, mate? It's always next it's time. It's gonna have to be a better one than that next time, man. Yeah. It can only get better. It couldn't get any fucking worse. Well, it could have. I guess they jumped on a sheep, and that's the next step. That's what we're gonna do some goat training. Yeah. Yeah. Did you know there was goats here where they were, or not? Not where they were. Mm, we thought right. we'd gone past the goat country. So you thought it was on, on a pig. A bit of a disillusion when you get there and it's baiting. It's yeah. a bloody goat, isn't it? Yeah, you made some made some noises. Yeah, right. Yeah, it was. I was in between. I couldn't make my mind up. Couldn't make your mind up. Yeah, I've been down that road before. So you took the dogs away, then you just put the goat out of its misery. Did you shoot it with my gun? Yeah. How did that work out, right? It's good. Yeah. yeah. 14? Yep. Clean? Yep, just dropped it. Headshot? Yeah. Right, eh? Oh, I'll let you carry on, but take Patrick's dog back. I think she's jumped back out again. He's down here somewhere. He's having a drink, is he? He's thirsty. He's getting a drink of the duck pond. You thirsty, mate, eh? Hey? Eh? Have a drink? Good boy. Have a drink. Come on, up you come. Here, Tick. Tick, come. Tick. Because now I'm going to hang out in the shade under here. It's cool under here. Tick, come. Come here. Tick. Come here. Good boy. Come on, in the back. Tig! It's Pace's brother. Up, oh, it's probably hot in that truck for him, so make sure you got windows down. In the back. <laughs> down the front. Typical. Yeah, it's hot, mate. Make sure these windows down. Okay, you guys carry on. See you later. Of a bugger, the dog's catching a goat, but nah, not gonna lose your sleep over it. Just think, Jody, not that long ago, was uh, 
in school and miserable and driving his parents crazy and wanting to go hunting and not doing very well and now he's out with his firearms license his driver's license going out hunting regularly and having a good life and he's working as well happy happy ending for him hey bruno hey boy yeah, he's a good dog good boy like staying in the sun bloody hot there it's hot everywhere today too hot for hunting Oh, what you been doing in there? Jump in and handle them. They need as much human handling as they can. Just watch your feet, don't stand any. <laughs> Come on, so your name's Lula, is it? Yeah. Hey Lula, jump in and grab a puppy, mate. What's your name again, Phil? Michael. Here you go. Yep. Grab a puppy. I want them to get human contact. It's really important so they get that contact, because so far they haven't had much. <laughs> this is a Poe girl. Oh, yeah, that's like the one that looks like Poe, and it's like the girl. And this one here, oh man, this is a heavy one, this is Poe boy, he's big. And the biggest one is somewhere, where's he gone? Well, oh, he's the biggest one here, look. <laughs> Check out this guy here, he's a monster. Feel the weight of that. He's two and a half kg, don't drop him, mate. Jeez. He's real heavy, eh? He just sleeps all the time. <laughs> they need more of that. Yeah. Mum's coming over to check it out. She's alright. Good, good, Poe. Good girl, Poe. Tail's wagging, that's a good sign. Good girl, Poe. They just love people, eh? Yeah. These guys, man. Climbing up. This is like a wee baby pace, this one. On there, look. It's like a wee baby pace. It is, eh? Yeah. Well, out of points for handling them, I've got to give you out of 10, 3. I've got to give you 4, and picking up and handling, you get a solid 8. Really. Definitely, definitely women do it better than... That's why I like Aoi and her daughter come over here, because her daughter solar plays them all the time. And so does my daughter's, but they're away right now, eh, Poe? It's really important they get a lot of human contact. That's how they aren't aggressive towards people later on in life. So the first 12 weeks of Paramount, they get lots of handling. So what we often do with the puppy was we'll go in a public place once we've got it, we'll just pack up somewhere, like down by the shops or the wharf and let everybody pat it. And that keeps it friendly, so if it runs into somebody in the forest when we're hunting it, it doesn't, you know, get aggressive. Po wants a bit of love now. She knows where the love's coming from, you see, look. She says, stuff these boys, I'll get a bit of love over here. Good girl, Po. Good girl, Po. It's pretty good she's pretty, you know, because they're her babies. Po, out of there. She wants to say good day to you all the time, mate. She's, she's taken to you. It's funny because she doesn't like people, eh? Really? She's not a people. No, she doesn't. Oh, I used to own a dog, but she passed away. Oh, yeah, that's what happens. They don't last forever. Yeah. How old was she? She was 15. That's a good age, mate. Yeah. That's a good age for a dog, yeah. Still hanging out down here. I want to show you guys what uh, Ricky Brown just brought me around. This is uh, because I can't catch a fat pig to save myself. I've been trying to. And uh, Ricky shot shot this one, mate? Yeah. Yeah. Shot it. So the meat, the pH level will be perfect because was there any stress going on when you shot that? Just bump for That's the perfect meat for hunting. It hasn't had dogs swing off it. I hate to say it to uh, all you uh, filthy pig hunters, but it's a fact. If you've got dogs swing off a pig, the pH level gets stuffed up on a pig. This meat is prime meat. And is this out of your garden, mate? Yep. Jeez, boy. And what's this pork from the same pig? Yep, the same pig. Oh, brother. Done it. Uh, meat solutions, yeah? Yep. And salami. Yep. It's, um, it's very, uh, yeah. what's the word I'm going to say? Uh, if you're a pig hunter and you've got mates bringing your pork, shows your hunting's not going very flash at the moment. It's not. The boys took uh, my two dogs out and got a goat last night. So we had a good spell and now we're in the dry spell again. It's our hunting, eh? That's how it goes. Well, uh, you tend to have a good spell most of the time, don't you? Well, we didn't get anything on Sunday. Didn't you? Well, when we oh, well, yeah, we went out. Yeah, when I went out there. Yeah, right, yeah. Yeah, but on the whole, Ricky catches a lot. Hey, I appreciate that very, very much. Thanks, mate. So what I'm going to show you guys is how to do a this here salt treated. So I'm going to make a bacon that has got no nasties in it, but will still have all the flavour. Basically, we're going to remove all the moisture. There's a, a very simple process, and I'll go through that. 
Thank you very much. No worries. Appreciate it. I don't want to ever ask you for pork again. I hope this never <laughs> happens again. <laughs> So does your partner want one, does she? No, oh, no. She does. <laughs> hey, watch this. Gonna put this down here. She doesn't want to there go away from the That's her there. Alright. Yeah, she's into it. What are you doing here? I'm gonna pop those ones over solar so I can get some food. Obviously, that's the wee run, that one there. Always. You've got solar. Yeah, get that one in there, mate. Where are you going? <laughs> Can't fit in there. You need a more. Yeah. <laughs> Trying to get in there. <laughs> oh, they've bonded already. It's your pup. <laughs> it's a little girl. What do you reckon happen if you went home to your girlfriend to Amber? What do you think would happen if you brought that home? Oh, I'd have to build a bloody fence then. It would. <laughs> Life would change, bro. Yeah, she'd mean a lot of work. Yeah. <laughs> oh, there's the two. It's the two po dogs. Mm. She's happy. sweet, that little po girl, eh? Yeah. She's actually very small. Mm hmm. She's yeah. quite a sweet wee girl. Yeah. I like her. Mm, she's a sweet girl. Look at her face. Look at her eyes. They're almost blue. Do you like her solar? This one here? Yeah. Would you like to keep that dog? Hey? Yeah. Do you want to take her home, are we? Take that one. That's your dog, okay? I'm giving you guys that one there. I make it I make an executive decision. No, Solar likes this one. Oh, this one. good choice, Solar. Oh, is this boy? Yeah, this is this one's my favourite solar, this one here. Oh. Yeah. Gonna fight. I know. Solar wants them I can I'll give you that one there. He's a special boy. He's the first one I always liked, and he's really, yeah. really interesting. He would be a cool, cool dog for a pet. If Sola wants him, she can have him. And that one there over there is really sweet too. I like that one. It's cute as what hell. What are you doing? He's hiding from Sola. She ate? It's actually a she. She's going to come back. Look, she's going back into her house. <laughs> she's saying, I'm out of here. Oh, man. You like to do this big boy. I do like the big boy. Yeah. This boy's heavy. I weighed him this morning. A little black face so it's quite neat. Yeah, that's yeah, a nice one. What's yeah. the difference? Like a, a double. I, I weighed him. You know how much he weighs? 3.6 No. 2.6 kg. <laughs> She's barking the box, the other one. Ooh, you do nothing. Mm. You do nothing. <laughs> this is a new fashion that's created by puppies for Awi's pants. It's destroyed your jeans. Yeah. They were like, they've destroyed them in one puppy day. That's right. It's a new fashion. <laughs> Ricky Brown says it looks like a new fashion, eh, Ricky? Yeah. Oh, no. That's the price you pay for playing with puppies. <laughs> okay, these guys are all asleep. Yeah. I want to give one a bit of heart. Oh, I wake up. Oh, food. It's hot. There's one down in here, hiding. No, he's doing something in there, I'm not sure. The camera inside is in a lot better look. He's bearing something, I think. It's in his little cave. What I don't want is a rat getting in there and getting one of them, you know? Back up. Come on, girl. Put up. Well, I like to eat. Yep, that's, that's for her to eat. It's dog tucker. 
Get up, Father. There you go. Okay. <laughs> and her mum's coming. And they might try and action for some dessert, some milk while she's feeding. Yeah, here she did come. They love the old milk, don't they? Oh, here comes Fatty. She's not even eating her food, look. She's just didn't have her feed again. If you keep giving Pa Pat their soul, she'll stand there, which is good. Give him some milk. Just give Pa Pat. She'll stay there for a bit. Good girl, Pa. <laughs> That's cool. Try to get the smaller ones onto her teeth if you can, are we? Yeah. There's that little one that lifts up. Oh, Fatty will try and get in here, but... Uh, Fatty's there. Yeah, no, Fatty can stay there. Good girl, Pa. That's the second feed they've had today, so it's good she's still feeding. Oops, there's your phone. Good girl, Pa. Good girl, Pa. Good girl, good girl. Oh, yeah, I'm thinking of going away uh, hunting for a couple of days, um, maybe Monday, Tuesday, after weather's permitting, or Tuesday, Thursday. Yeah. Do you think I can leave you in charge of these guys? Yeah. Great. I'll bring you some fish and some venison home. Mm. I've got some more venison for you. Ricky bought, bought me um, round some sausages, All right. and I'll give you some for the kids, and he yeah. bought me some raspberries he's grown himself. So sorry? Some raspberries he's grown himself. Oh, right. Yeah, and he brought me around some really nice fat pork. I'm going to make salted pork mm -hmm. out of here. I'm going to make some, some um, yeah, that was really appreciated, mate, eh? Salted. It's, I'm going to make into salt, make my own um, salt cured bacon. Oh. Salt -cured. Pork belly. Yeah, pork right. belly. You know, your jeans look cool with those scratches on it. It's kind of like designer jeans, eh? Yeah. <laughs> they do. And that's why you worm your dogs. That all just came out of one dog now, after the worm tablet. Bruno's enjoying the love. And Poe's enjoying getting away from the puppies. I'll build a little house outside for your soul and you can just stay and look after the dogs full time. He's going to sit on me. I know. Bruno. What you doing, Bruno? Hey. Good oh boy. Thanks for patting puppy solar. It's part of their socialization. It's really important, eh? It's great. Bruno, you're staying here. See ya. Bye. Bye. Come on, Bruno. Where'd he come? Come on, boy. Hey, Ducky. We found your eggs, didn't we? Yes, we did. We found Ducky's nest in here, and we raided it. We got quite a few eggs out, but we left one. And hopefully she's laid more since we left one. Maybe she hasn't. Sometimes they stop laying once you take all the eggs out. Oh, what do we got here? Oh, we got a new egg in there. Okay. There's one in there, and she's laid another one, so we'll take that one out. They're big size. They're big eggs. I like duck eggs. That's good. I'll just leave the one in there so she's 
I'm about to lay another egg. And normally I'd eat this, but uh, there's a dog that needs it more than me, that's Po. Hey Po. Because she's just been feeding pups and she's a bit uh, a bit low on nutrition. Yeah, I know, we're going to bring it to you. Come on Po. There's a lot of goodness in an egg. Some people say you shouldn't give eggs to dogs. I've been feeding my dogs eggs for years now and uh, never had a problem with it. So, just going to break it in the bowl and give it to Poe because it's got a lot of good stuff in it. She's had an egg already this morning. She had a chicken egg. Now she's having a duck egg. Here we go, Poe. Good stuff. I wouldn't get too close, mate. Nah, I wouldn't do that. Man, I've had lots of visitors. It's partly to do with the time of the year. And you probably had the same. People come and see you because of Christmas holidays and that. It's also because they've got puppies. I know that Arwe comes around to see the puppies. She loves them, which is great because the puppies actually need a lot of attention. They need lots of handling. Their socialisation with people in this first sort of 10 weeks of their life is critical to how they are for the rest of their doggy life. This is the recording studio. Welcome. I'll just pan around here. That's the desk. We've got a couple of machines there. Mixing desk here. A few guitars over there. Sound booth. A full sound booth with double glazed windows for doing vocals. Soundproofing to keep the noise dampened down. An old piano that was here when I came to the house. More instruments there. Keyboards and stuff. Drums in the corner over there. That microphone stand is holding up that Hilux spoiler. Without it would fall down. And bass on the floor. One of my slide guitars that I built. Built that out of deer antler, pig tusk, uh, more deer antler. It's got a humbucker pickup and it's got on the stock some deer antler. I have a few slide guitars. I also have a Merlin, which is sort of uh, an interesting instrument. This one's missing a string, as you can see, but I play that and I love it. For a stage guitar, when I'm playing live gigs, Takamini, I've always used them. Can't beat them. Really good guitars for on stage. Not so good for recording. Quality. For recording quality, I like to use, uh, well I actually got this Takamini which has also got a broken string. That's a nylon Takamini, so I do use that if I'm doing like jazz type picking stuff. I use these Nelson built guitars by John Dixon, that's a hubcap guitar, made out of a Vauxhall hubcap, three strings. And I use this Gibson copy, it's actually a quart, which is a real cheap guitar but got a really nice sound. I use that there for doing a lot of the electric blues I do. And I've got a tailor, which is in my bedroom. It shows you that's the guitar that gets played the most. And then I've got the Lee Oscar harmonicas, which I use, because I do all the harmonica work myself. And they're a Japanese harmonica. They come in a packet like this. I'll pick it up and hopefully not drop it. So they're clever the way they stick together. This is them here. So you get all your different keys. And these all snapped together, there's no harmonica in that one. And when I was uh, traveling in Europe, this instrument here was probably the thing I played the most as far as shows and drew the most people in. It's an A harmonica. Creating rhythms, but also I use it as a lead instrument, I use it as a rhythmic instrument, I use it as a blues instrument, but also play uh, melodies and country on it. And believe it or not, even Irish music. Dirty old town starts off with the harmonica and the key of G. Anyway, that's a little bit about, uh, I don't know why that came into my head, but I often think, you know, Irish songs, people don't think of the harmonica, but you think of Pokes, you know, the first few lines is a harmonica. This studio has had so much music created, and all the music you hear in my videos, I have created mostly in here. Often, I quite often don't do anything in here, I just get a camera. Because these days cameras are pretty good. I grab a guitar, put a harmonic in the rack, and I just belt it out. And when I came out of hospital this year, the first thing I did was I sat over in the corner, just over there by the window where the summer's coming in. It was late March or April. It was a pretty cold time of the year. And I sat there and I belted out 10 songs. I wrote them. I composed them. I recorded them all on a camera in one hit. And they were so strong and powerful that I haven't released them yet, but I got some musicians to join me later on in them. The recording quality is absolutely terrible because it's on a camera, not done through proper studio mic. Should have been done through a microphone like this. 
but it wasn't. That's a AKG C414 double diaphragm microphone. I did it just with a camera and belted them out and they worked with the feeling. The recording quality wasn't great, but I will release that music probably on Spotify, not as a CD, but as an album when I feel the time is right. It's not my normal genre of music, but I just come out of hell and I captured something very unique and very special, I think. But it's pretty raw, pretty raw. I have actually released the the first um, recording of it to patrons, but not the actual mixed down version with the instruments. Other music that I need to work on. Everybody's asking me where they can buy the song Ride With Me. Um, hey Jelena and... Uh, Sweet As Bro, the three songs I haven't released yet, probably should have. Sweet As Bro I wrote two years ago, it should be out there, but I'm just lazy and I need to pull my finger out and get that done. Plus I've got about another 30 songs that are sitting on the computer I just haven't mastered. Because time, man, there's only so many hours in a day. And I like to go hunting, I like to go fishing, and I like to get out and do stuff. And it takes many hours to produce music. But one thing is sure, that all the music that you're listening to on my vlogs, like this vlog here is all created with my own fingers and my own singing and my own yeah, creation. I'm not using other people's material. Anyway, I thought I'd just share that little bit about uh, the process since you watched the video and what I do, and I thought you might find it interesting. And uh, there's a bit more to this channel than just hunting, fishing, and outdoor cooking. I do have other things going on in my life, and as I go through these snap vlogs, I'm going to share those with you because there will be some of you out there that find them of some interest. That is me for the day. I hope you enjoyed the, the snap vlog, and I will probably have one for you tomorrow, but I might take some time off over Christmas to do something different. Hmm. Watch this space. Be good. If you cannot be good, then be careful. It's a fly in the studio. It's the worst nightmare. One fly can destroy a whole recording. I need to kill that bastard. Mm-hmm, I need to kill it. Well, the white boy's pretty good with his gun. Get out on the hill and take his fun. Summer or spring, when the autumn comes, time will tell. White boy knows the nature very well. White boy.